Hi, my name is Suze Casey and I'd like to tell you a wee story about incredible intention and strong belief. Most of you know me as the developer of the belief repatterning technique and I actually practice what I teach. I've had an incredible 48 hours since the announcement of, of Hay House uh, accepting my book and giving me a radio program. I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much for all the well wishes that people have sent me. I so value that. And I thought I'd just give you a little bit of background and tell you a little bit about the story because as much as I'd like to relate this to each and every one of you individually, I'm heading to Mexico, so I need to <laughs> I thought this would be the fastest way of doing it. So I want to fast fast track you back to tell you a little bit of how this happened. Ten years ago, a little bit more than ten years ago, I left my teaching career to, to follow my passion with belief repatterning. And uh, this past summer, my girlfriend Kathleen sent me a note about the movers and shakers workshop that was being held in Toronto and she said I think Hay House is looking for new authors look they're offering this thing and look so I went on the website and I did look and they were offering a book deal to someone who attended this workshop and the prize was going to be announced on December the 9th I was so excited because December the 9th is my birthday <laughs> and I thought oh I'll go and then I'll win and it'll be my birthday present that's a great intention and so I did now, I make it sound really simple. There was a lot of fear and doubt and how am I going to afford it and all of those things that we do to ourselves when we're taking a new step into something big, but I did it. Kathleen said, you need to stay at the hotel. None of this kind of staying at a cheaper place. You need to stay at the hotel because you're going to meet somebody in the elevator. So I've learned over time to listen to my wise friend, and so I stayed at the main big hotel downtown. Friday night, we walked into the room, and I sat down, and I'm sitting there kind of looking around me, and all of a sudden I realized sitting two rows in front of me is Louise Hay herself, the woman who wrote You Can Heal Your Life. I was, I was taken aback because I didn't expect her to be there. Reed Tracy, the CEO of Hay House, and Cheryl Richardson, one of their um, New York Times best-selling authors, were the people that were giving the workshop, and I had no idea that Louise was going to be there. Well, later that night, when we finished, I went off to the ladies' room, and by the time I came out, no one else was around, and I walked through the convention center and through the lobby of the hotel, and I got on the elevator. Now, I have to tell you something about this elevator. It tells you what's happening, like going down or fourth floor. It has a little voice on it. So I got on the elevator, the doors shut, and I was there by myself, and then they opened again. And who walked on but Louise Hay and Cheryl Richardson? <laughs> I was so excited the door shut and the voice said going up and my little monkey voice said yes I am and so I expressed my gratitude to both Cheryl and Louise for the impact that they'd had on my life got off on my floor floated down the hallway ran into my room and phoned my girlfriend right away and said you're right I did meet somebody in the hall in the elevator and it was Louise Hay and Cheryl Richardson during that weekend, I learned a lot about what it takes to be an author, what it takes to be a platform speaker, and I felt like I was in exactly the right place at exactly the right time, learning exactly what I needed to do to take my business to the next level. So we finished the weekend, and, and they offered a couple of, of things, and, and one was make a video and send it in, and, and you could be considered for a Hay House radio program. You could be considered for an online event, or you could be considered for a book publishing deal. Well, I thought, go big or go home. So I put in a book proposal and I put in a video, which many of you may have seen. It's the teaching yourself the songs that you sing with the I Love Lila song. Anyway, I got a phone call on December the 8th. I wasn't expecting it on December the 8th, but there it came. And it was Reed, and he phoned and said, we're so excited because we're offering you the radio program. I was over the moon excited about it. I talked to him about some of the details and about 10 minutes into the call I felt like we were kind of winding down and he said oh and we've also decided to publish your book well that's when I lost my composure and started to cry it was just a dream realized since I was a little kid I've been a book monster and I've always wanted to be a published author and have my name on a book so let me show you what I've done we're in my office in my consulting room in Calgary here and let's just come over and have a look here at my bookshelf I grabbed all of the books I have that came from Hay House and I put them all on the shelf here. And you can see all the Hay House, all the Hay House markings here. And here's my Power of Intention by Dr. Dyer and my You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, my Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks, all published by Hay. Oh, and look! 
Belief Repatterning by Suze Casey, published by Hay House. Yes! So, the power of intention, setting and holding on to your dreams and beliefs. Know that you can and will. Get what you want and be who you are. Take care. Do follow me on Facebook, Suze Casey, Belief Repatterning, or check out our website at www.beliefrepatterning.com. That's B E L I E F R E P A T T E R N I N G.com. Hold on to your dreams and know that they will come true. Take care. I'm Suze Casey. Bye for now.